Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today, we're gonna to make a wax canvas tarp. So last week I made a oiled canvas tarp using some linseed oil and mineral spirits. This week we are going to use different methods, just basically waxing the canvas. There is also a third method where you sort of blend the two and you use, I think, two parts wax, one part linseed oil, one part mineral spirits or turpentine. But this time we are just going for the straight wax canvas. I picked up a couple blocks of paraffin wax at my local hardware store. Basically, you just need that. Uh, I'm gonna be using the other half of my five by 20 tarp, the brush and a heat gun. You can use your wife's hairdryer, but I have wrecked one of those and it's not worth it. So use a heat gun, it's far better option. So I'm melting the wax inside. I've just got a pot full of water and then I've placed a tin can inside of that and I put my blocks of wax inside to start melting so I don't wreck the pot. Uh, if I don't end up using all the wax, very easy to just set that aside, let it harden, and then I can reuse it next time. But uh, once this all melts, we're going to take it out to the garage and start brushing that onto our canvas. All right, so my wax is all melted. I've just left it in the pot with the hot water that hopefully will just help to keep the wax liquid a little bit longer. I have my tarp ready to start brushing that on. I've just put a piece of plastic underneath it. I don't want to get wax on my workbench. Um, so let's get to it. Start brushing that on. Probably doesn't show up terribly well in the video or on the uh, camera, but very easy to see what has wax on it and what does not. Basically it's making coating on the front. I'm going to coat in it whole whole area and then I'll heat that up with the heat gun, but I'll show you that as I get to it. For now, I'm just gonna keep brushing this on. All right, so I've uh, coated about a uh, two foot square chunk. I'm gonna just take my heat gun. I'm just putting it on the, the uh, low setting, start heating up this wax. That'll help it to sort of melt and soak or permeate right into the fabric. So as the wax melts with the heat gun, you can see that the color changes. That's just the wax permeating through the fabric both sides now, as opposed to just a layer on the front. So I'm just going to kind of keep working through all of this and uh, show you what the final product looks like. I have roughly 40 square feet of material. I've got one pound of wax melted up, so I'm going to just kind of keep track and see how much wax it takes to do roughly 40 square feet. All right, so tarp is done. This took me about two hours to wax it all, so it's about 42 square feet. It's a little more time consuming than the linseed oil, but uh, we're gonna see how it holds up. You can see everywhere it gets folded, you get these white crease marks. I was a little concerned that might affect the uh, kind of waterproofness of this. So this kind of half or section, I folded and unfolded a bunch of times just to kind of crease it as if it was, uh, you know, kind of going through some daily use. So we're gonna hook up the sprinkler, let that run for a while and uh, see what we got. So the sprinkler's been running for about a half hour. And you can see water still nicely beating off the outside of that canvas. So that's exactly what we're looking for. So let's climb underneath and see what it's like on the inside. All right, so here we are underneath the tarp. Sprinkler's still running. No water coming through. You can feel the tarp obviously feels cold. Something I do any kind of, anytime I'm doing any sort of plumbing, just as a way to double check for leaks, uh, just because that cold can almost give you the sensation of things being wet. So I take a, like a blue shop towel, rub that on it, Nothing at all. That would instantly start to show some darker spots if there was any moisture on that. So this is exactly what we're looking for. Let's move down to where I've put some more wrinkles in it. Same thing. Absolutely no water getting through that. So this is exactly what we're looking for. All right, there you go. So that's how you make yourself a wax canvas tarp. Dollar for dollar, this ends up being uh, probably 25% cheaper, but does take a bit more work to get done. Nice thing about the wax canvas is there's no concern of sort of those combustion or self-combustion issues that you run into with the linseed oil. Overall, very happy with the way this holds up. So, hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the next video.